What's up YouTube? It's Iceman, hooking you guys up with an Ice Cold video, and today guys, as you know, Titanfall comes out at midnight, and I am excited, uh, I've been waiting for this game for a while, I've actually been waiting for the Respawn Entertainment game since way before Titanfall was really, you know, announced as the official name and everything, ever since Vincent and Pella and them had left Infinity Ward and that whole altercation between... Uh, Activision and them and when they were with Infinity Ward, you know I was really disappointed to see them leave Call of Duty But at the same time I knew new and better things could possibly come out of it And then when I heard they were going with EA and EA having you know an okay track history now I know they're big on microtransactions But one thing it seems that they're letting Vincent and Pella and them do is kind of do their own thing It's almost like how Disney bought Marvel and Disney bought Star Wars, but they're going to let them do their own thing. You know what I'm saying? You still see those same movies that would have came out that were under Marvel if they weren't bought by Disney when it comes to like Captain America, Avengers, and all that stuff. They would have been the same movie, I guarantee it. They probably had a better opportunity to make the movie better, though, with the money that Disney could provide. So, therefore, it's probably like the same thing with Vince and Pella going to EA. You know, it's probably just a better better position for him and his his group of guys that he wanted to take with them and I'm, I'm super excited i can't wait um i'm actually making this commentary at 2 a.m in the morning my time i'm gonna sleep probably until it's time to get up and get my butt out the door and wait in line for the game so i'm really excited but i know there's call of duty in the background so i want to kind of talk about this video and in this video in the background i am bringing you guys an accidental tdm chem strike and honestly guys, I seriously didn't know I was getting a chemistry strike. I was going actually for triple choppers. And when I went to call on my chopper, you know, you'll see the end result. But it was pretty funny because I really didn't mean to get the accidental chemistry strike. And I didn't think it was possible to get an accidental chemistry strike. And I did it. And I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk a little bit more to you guys about a couple more things about Titanfall. Uh, I want to give you guys a heads up that there will be plenty of Titanfall on my channel. If you want to see me live stream Titanfall, I'm going to put my Twitch in the link below. I plan on live streaming Titanfall from the time I get home at midnight up until I can't even keep my eyes no more. I'm going to go get me a bunch of monster. I mean, I am going to go get decked out on energy drinks. I'm probably, I mean, it, it, there's a possibility I could go and have maybe, you know, a heart attack from too much caffeine or something. It's possible. I know that's not something to joke about, but I plan on running a really long stream tomorrow. I'm super, super duper T. Martin. T. Martin excited. Hey, guys. Yeah, I'm that excited. Um, but uh, I hope you guys look forward to the content as well because I plan on bringing you guys Call of Duty still because, you know, I am the Call of Duty hero. I'm Iceman. I'm going to continue to be a fan of Call of Duty. I know I complain sometimes, but you know what? You complain about the things you love. You know what I'm saying? If you're in a relationship and something's not right, if you don't say anything in that relationship, that relationship's going to fail. You see what I'm saying? So time to time, you got to get things off your chest. And that's how I see it. So, you know, I got some things off my chest. And now, you know, I'm a little bit more positive about Call of Duty. The Ripper does help. I'm not going to lie. I know in my Ripper review, I said it's probably not going to save Call of Duty. But in a way, it's, it has made the game more enjoyable because it fits specifically to my playstyle, which is perfect because, you know, anybody who watches my games, I only use SMGs, I only use ARs, or I might use a chain. So, but that's just fun. But when I use it with SMG ARs, I use it map specific to where the Ripper fits my playstyle completely. I don't need Stalker because it keeps the SMG mobility even when in AR mode. So that really helps me a lot with that gun. And I, you know, I, you probably see a lot of Ripper gameplay from me from now on simply because that's what I prefer to use. It, it's both my favorite type and one gun. So therefore, I'm going to use it a lot, but. Please enjoy the rest of this game mode, guys, and uh, peace. Hit that like button, guys, if you like the end of this video. I'm out. All right, standing by.
I hit him on boat, they're on boat, they're on boat. Are you kidding me? Don't kill nobody, don't kill nobody, don't kill nobody. I must kill somebody. Oh baby. Nice work, ghosts. Well done. Oh, it's going on YouTube. <laughs>